Hey guys, my name is Sandy. I'm a homeschooling mom to two boys. They are going to be going into 8th grade and 10th grade next year, and we are going to be going into our 7th year of homeschooling. I thought I would get on here for the 2023-2024 school year and kind of give you guys a preview of what we're going to be using. So this video is going to be for my 10th grader. So here are all the classes my son is going to take for his 10th grade year for the 2023-2024 school year. These are all the credits that he's going to get for the class. Uh, the first one is Literature and Composition 2, Algebra 2, he's got Chemistry with Lab, World History, Spanish 3, he's going to take a Nautical Science class, he's really into nautical studies and cruise ships and things of that nature, and I actually found a free science class online that he's going to take. He also chose a Computer Science class. I'm not sure if it's going to be half a credit or one credit at this point. I'm going to kind of log how many hours it takes him to complete it. And in addition to that, he's on a competitive gymnastics team. It takes up a lot of his time. Um, he is going to volunteer. Sometime in the late spring, he's going to take driver's ed. Um, here in our state, they're a little bit strict about the driver's ed. They can't get their driver's license until they take a driver's ed course. It has to be certified. And at that point, um, they have to be at least 16 to take driver's ed. So unfortunately, he's going to be almost 17 by the time he probably gets his license. And then one thing that we're adding, um, he's probably going to be taking two classes from this. He's been taking a class this year already from it. And he's actually almost done with it. Um, there's classes from Harvard that anybody can take, and you get a certificate when you're done with it. It's on the edX website. You can take classes from all different universities on this, and he picked to take a class from Harvard. He's currently taking a class on Ebola. Um, because he's studying biology, I figured the Ebola would go really good with it. This is not an easy class to take. It's been two hours a day for four weeks right now that he's had to put into it. Um, when he first signed up for the class, there was like all the other students were chiming in to where they were from and why they were taking the class. A lot of them were actually like um, medical students. But he's been doing okay with it. He's getting an A right now in the class and he's been keeping up with it. It's just a lot of work. I feel like it's going to prepare him really good for his dual enrollment that he's going to take in his junior year. He'll kind of already have a feel for the online classes. And also I figured this would look pretty good on his college application. For math this year, he's going to use CTC again. He's going to take Algebra 2 with CTC. He understands the math really well and everything is going really successful for him. The videos are fairly short, they're 10 minutes or less. And I don't see a reason to change to another math at this point. So for language arts, he's going to continue with easy peasy literature and composition. He's going to take literature and composition too. Everything went really well for him. I feel like it's a really well-rounded curriculum and he's learning a lot. And it's definitely going to prepare him for college. So I don't see a reason to change it at this point. He can pretty much complete everything independently. Oops. This is the offline workbook for the vocabulary that I've already purchased, and I have not purchased the regular lessons yet. He does um, partially offline and partially online. I'm going to add in one extra thing to the Easy Peasy. I feel like it's a well-rounded curriculum and it doesn't need anything. This is more like a reference book for his writing. I feel like he's not as competent in his writing as I would like him to be. He did take four years of The Good and the Beautiful before he started high school, and I kind of feel like it didn't prepare him enough like it should have. I've noticed a few gaps in his grammar and his writing at this point. And I'm not to say I'm not saying it's a really bad program. I'm just saying for him, I don't think he's as prepared as he should be. Um, this is kind of like a book that goes over the different types of writing. They go over descriptive, narrative, expository, and persuasive. And they also go over creative writing. They go over the thesis and the conclusion and basically how to set up your entire paper and how to cite it when you're all done. For chemistry, he's going to be taking Chemistry in the Kitchen by Guest Hollow. I really debated whether to do a more traditional chemistry curriculum and I finally had my husband look over the different options. He's a college professor even though he's not teaching chemistry and he actually told me that the Guest Hollow looked the best which was perfect because my son loves his biology with Guest Hollow this year. So this is the online schedule for it. Everything's based on an online schedule, but there is no online main textbook for here. Everything is extra books that you have to purchase. We're going to be using a lot of audiobooks. I don't have all the books here. 
but it's neatly separated by each week. I found it very easy to plan and pick and choose which books we're most interested in, which ones we want to go with. Here's some of the main spine books I've gotten already. Culinary Reactions. Got Napoleon's Buttons. And what Einstein told his cook. And there are a few other books that I really want to collect, but I just haven't been able to find used for a good price yet. And a lot of the books are going to be with audio. Here are some of the extras that go with it. This is... Looks like the lab sheets that come with it that you can print up. Here's an extra activity that was behind the lab sheets that I printed. And both of my kids are going to be taking this together. My 8th grader is also going to be taking this class. So I'm really excited to be able to do all of the science experiments together with them this year. It looks like this is the answer key for the workbook. And then this over here are some of the workbook sheets if you want to see what they look like. Since I'm teaching them together, I may end up having them just answer out loud after we go through the selected readings. And I do plan on purchasing a traditional chemistry experiment kit from Home Science Tools to go along with this. So for history, he's going to go with Guest Hollow's Whirlwind World History. He loved the Guest Hollow World Geography that he took this year, so we're not going to switch it up and we're going to stick with Guest Hollow again. And this is their online schedule. They do have um, a main online textbook that you go through. Let me show you what it looks like. This is the online textbook. I'll scroll down so you can see it. There's pictures, maps, videos. There's reading, Latin roots. In addition to the online textbook, there's a lot of additional reading. This curriculum has so many recommended books compared to all the guest hollows that we've previously done. So I really had to cut out some books. Um, this is one of the books I went with, Red Scarf Girl. It's about the Korean War. I went with this and one other book mainly because the thrift books had this on the clearance for $2. And I thought that was such a good price and it was included as part of the curriculum, so I went with it. I went with a few of these because they look like they're really fun to read. Horrible histories. That's for the Vikings. I've got one for the Groovy Greeks. The Terrible Tutors. And then this one I found in the clearance section also. This is not part of the curriculum, but this takes place in London in World War II. And I thought this would go really good with world history and also with his nautical science class. Lifeboat 12. This one right here, Saigon Calling, this is the sequel to one of the recommended books. I couldn't find that recommended initial book for a good price, but I found this for an awesome price. So I picked it up. And I'm probably going to get the prequel to this as well. This is about the Vietnam War. And then I picked up The Art of War. The Odyssey. It's an illustrated version, but there's still definitely a lot of reading to get through. And this is a daily book. You're going to read through this pretty much every day. I was so excited to get this in the mail that I sat there for like two hours and flipped through it and read what the different objects were. And on top of these books, I do have a lot of audiobooks he's going to be reading through. Here is the timeline pictures that go with it. So they create a timeline as they go through the year.
And here are some workbook examples. And also each week they actually have adult coloring pages listed. My son said he would really like to do that while he's watching the embedded videos. So here's some of the examples of those. Here's that edX website for the additional work that he's going to be doing. Uh, you can pick from many different universities. He's just picking classes from Harvard. And they say free, but if you want an actual certificate of completion, you have to pay between 100 and 150. Here is the code.org website where he's going to be doing his computer science, and these offer free classes also. Here is the Maritime Studies South Africa website where he's going to be taking his free nautical science class. I am adding into this to make it a full credit. I looked at the daily lessons, they don't look super long, so I'm going to be adding in documentaries and extra reading to go along with it. So that's everything for my son's 10th grade year. I hope you guys found this helpful. If you have any questions, just ask down below. Bye guys!